Welcome back to Scott's Retro Collectibles. I'm on the hunt today. Something a little bit different. Well, not different, something I haven't done for some time. I'm gonna go charity shop hunting in Alpington High Street. Let's see what I can find. It looks like a glorious day to be fair. A lot better than what we've had. Sky looks good. Alleyway looks clear. Let's see what we can find. We're on the hunt. Feels like it's been a while since I've done a live hunt. Let's see what we can find. We don't tend to find too much in Alpington High Street, but you know, your luck can change at any minute, moment, second. So let's see what we can find. YMCA first charity shop. Very much close. Oh. Look at that. Team GB. Quite a few records. Nothing standing out. Let's leave that. Let's see what else goes around here. DVDs, media. Oh, quite a lot. Don't get anything. Usually nothing around there on the books to be fair. Star Trek Cyclopedia. But nothing for us. Right about that super doll. Because if that was original and not copied, it would have uh, would have been some good good little trade in. At least a five off. Uh right, let's see what's over here. Laura Ashley paper decorating wallpaper sorry usually goes for a little bit but not stuff that I'm into yeah, yeah since I've had that cold <laughs> nothing really standing up deep start three pound nothing I think when I had those antibiotics for the year, it was cool. Gutted. I thought the Super was going to be a little bit of a touch, but copy Blu ray. It's not too bad if you like it because you can pick it up and watch it. Uh, but yeah, not for me. I'm all for the trade in. £20. Isn't looking promising already. £20 for a copied Star Wars little. A3 poster. Oh, there you go. 
sorry. Thank you. Nice new look. A few friends. Looks like a set. Oh look. Lots of singles here. Yeah? Girls ain't nothing but trouble. Fresh Prince and Jazzy. Lot of nineties. Come on, wrestling, Bart Simpson, Wycliffe. Ah, uh, it's not looking promising. Not looking promising. These all sit, always seem to be here, and they're always like the classical music ones. Like ones to me that just need to be thrown away. No, nothing.
£2.50, E8, someone's overpricing the games. Sometimes you do get some football tops. Not today. Pro star. The school jumper. Always check the little Lucy. Nothing in there of any interest. A few little dinosaurs. Nothing, nothing. It's a shame. shocking we got a couple more at the top of the high street and then we're done uh, which is huge the old blockbusters used to be there but we're going this one quickly I always just show up a pot up never find anything again times today quality movie I wonder one there no box sets at the top jungle book record though gamble on it. £3.50. It's a cool piece to be fair. Maybe tempted by that. It definitely doesn't feel like 500 Cool piece to see though. Pieces. Nothing really sad out. I call this bit so far is a dungeon of dragons. I didn't see it. These are all. It's again nothing there. It's called Sea Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, he's just taking a little potter out here. See the Dungeons and Dragons puzzle. Uh, yeah, but like I said, guys, this is the new charity shop. Let's take a look. So it used to be a Blockbusters years ago. 
uh, and they've reopened it now as this charity shop but we'll definitely take a look around see what we can find definitely go to the kids section first go for a break with I am t-shirt guys I only literally look for the football tops if any never seen that one before extra large boy they put it in the extra large but that, that's definitely not an extra large adult I wouldn't have thought but Man United and how much did they ask for it as well 12 because there's no clue in these shots whatsoever. Yeah, they just put copied posters out for what they believe the original poster goes for. Huge books section. Huge book section. That's cool. Something different. Stones, that's a copy, 35. The music is absolutely bugging me. are all over the place I'm not gonna lie for sale not for sale staff you tell me Harry Potter, Harry Potter rug. A few little bits there. Nothing standing out. Set. 
No, nothing really. All the space and nothing. So we have got two more across the road, uh, but nothing really standing out for me in there. Dungeons and Dragons is definitely the best we've seen. Straight away from the window. Sandman, deluxe edition, 24 pound. Oh, 200. Oh my days. Let's go in and look. Oh, is that you? That's right. Thank you. Thanks. Yes, games. Nothing crazy. Oh, oh that man. Bust. Nothing really. Of course, in uh, is it Titan AD? Or I, I remember that as a kid. I'm in over my head. I'm in over my head. That's all you're getting from me.
goes nothing crazy there. Cheeky monkey foot massage. They're closed. Oh. Well, it is now a complete bust. Let's go to CX, see what we can find. A few retro games. This is the only thing with this CX now. They don't put the retro games anymore in the window, so they are all, you can see them just all absolutely pumped in the back in boxes. Pocket fire, oh, everything's there. I don't know why they just don't put them out. Got Street Fighter, Pokemon, XD. games and they've gone literally in tubs and you can have them all out there I don't understand see what other ones they got there right, bro. Free here the other day. Jesus, look how many Narnias there are. Clockhouse Free's gone. It's under G. Look at that, how can you sell that? What is going on with that?
<clears throat> oh, mate, this is going to be a complete bust today. Oh, sorry, how you? Sorry. Nothing, you know. That's cool. Oh, Labo. Labo, someone's brought that in. Wow. Mm, nothing. Oh, that's a bust. What a bust. I'm back. I'm back home now. Look at look at the cheeks where it's so cold outside. Uh, but I just wanted to say, yeah, very a bit disappointing. But I wanted to show these things happen. You go out on charity shop hunts. You don't necessarily find what you are looking for as an individual. Some people would have been saying you should have picked this up, should have picked that up, and that's a hundred percent valid for the individual that's going on the hunt now. Like I said in the video, the things that play back to me, that definitely the Dungeons and the Dragons uh, puzzle. You don't often see those kind of puzzles out there uh, but for me it wasn't for me it's not now I don't need it necessarily uh, and I don't know what I do but I think I just pile it on top of everything else and forget about it and I'm trying to stay away from that kind of impulse buying uh, for the moment for the moment he says because you'll see me at a boot sale and I'll be picking up everything no doubt uh, but that being said I just wanted to show as well it's not you know it's very hit and miss a lot of the charity shops I go to like I was saying earlier where I find my DVD box sets that's been years of networking, getting to know uh, the guys and girls that work in these charity shops, uh, having a mutual understanding, and obviously picking up the pieces from there. And you'd see a, a, a load of other YouTubers do the same thing. And a lot of people that are not even on YouTube uh, do it. So when I've gone into charity shops that I find a lot of stuff, you'll see lists where it's like, this is a person for records that they phone. This is a person for war memorabilia that they phone. This is a person for Lego. And believe it or not, when that stuff comes in, it gets divvied out to those people where they've got contacts because they want to take the money in store. Rightly or wrongly, everyone will have a different view. Uh, but I would just say, if you are near your local charity shops and you, like me, you've walked up today and you're like, oh, there's nothing there. I would definitely try reaching out and just trying to build some networks. Now you might get knocked down five times out of 10, seven times out of 10, nine times out of 10, but all you need is that one. You just need that one to spark the relationship ship up with. And then you start getting calls, potentially texts, or you go in there, they put some stuff aside for you. That's where I think now, especially going to nowadays where you've got a lot of uh, people doing side hustles, reselling, working for themselves, it's a lot harder to find bits and pieces at charity shops. You've also got boot sales, for me anyway, personally, starting back up again. Uh, so a lot of people would choose to take that and bring that money into their own house homes, given the uh, cost of living crisis that we're still going through at the moment. Everything is very expensive. So I think it's definitely going to be harder as the year goes on. Uh, so for me, it's definitely building on those relationships uh, and seeing what you can get, 
potentially find out of uh, building on that trust, those relationships and getting those goods and definitely going to more boot sales because I think you'll see a lot more people, especially with the uh, increase in terms of, is it, it's not so much fees, I was going to say, it's more from a tax element on eBay now where they share your details. So I think you'll get a lot more people that resell on eBay, on eBay, email. This is because I've had a long walk on eBay now selling at boot sales because it's cash in hand, right? It's easier for those kind of resellers to get that money. And then I think you'll see a lot more on Facebook Marketplace. So definitely keep checking Facebook Marketplace, Finted. It's the apps where you potentially can sell stuff and there's no repercussions for selling bits and pieces that you've already paid tax on as well, let me say, uh, on the majority of it anyway. Uh, so yeah, that being said, I think you've just got to readapt how you look for retro items. Now, I think you have to go to a lot more fairs. So a lot more of your toy fairs, your retro fairs, collector fairs, gaming fairs. I think you have to hit those a little bit more. And there's a little bit of a buy-in fee to get in, so an entry fee. Uh, but I think you'll find a lot more bits and pieces. And you're going to meet brilliant people from the community. So I definitely recommend that. And then, like I said, it's the online platforms where you can see your vintage. Not so much eBay now, I don't think. I think it's going to be Facebook Marketplace, private selling groups with on Facebook, and then boot sales. Boot sales are where you've got to go. I think they're going to be quite busy this year and a lot of people hunting i've seen videos already going out where you've got mammoth amount of people uh, and there's only two lanes to go down so i think it's going to be a little bit of free for all for the beginning part of the season then we get into that six week summer holiday for kids and then from where i am the boot sales really ramp up you get a lot of parents doing a midweek as well uh so lots to look forward to but guys i've still got a lot of content to come simon started to do videos he found some decent bits and pieces uh, in his charity shop video so he's going to do a lot more videos i'm hoping the footage that he sends me over is good so we're going to start putting it on my channel and if his videos get a lot of views a lot of positive comments i'll mostly start feeding it over to his channel so he can take some of the i guess take some of the benefits and positivity of having that stuff on his own channel and build his own channel as he grows uh, but we'll see how he gets on for the first couple of months i think we're gonna try putting them on my channel to begin with and see how he gets on with that and hopefully he's just not filmed his feet uh, I did give him a little tutorial of what to do, but we'll see, we'll see how that turns out, fingers crossed. Because again, he did find some good little buys. I oh, let one slip. He did find a PlayStation 1 Grand Theft Auto 3. Did Grand Theft Auto 3 come out though? It didn't come out on PlayStation, did it? You had London and 2. Well, he found one of the Grand Theft Autos on PlayStation 1 for £2. Uh, so he was well chuffed for his first time. But again, he's getting out a lot more now. And it's really good when you have someone who's fresh and new to starting up, I guess, YouTube and going out hunting. I remember when I first done it, you go everywhere, you want to film everything. So I think there's going to be a lot of good footage coming from Simon's videos uh, and hopefully you all enjoy them as well. But I'm going to leave it there. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep watching just because, you know, when you fall, you got to learn to get yourself... Wait, wow. How have I ruined the greatest Batman saying of all times? Is it... Oh, amazing. What is going on? I'm going to have to look on my phone. The, the walk has killed me, guys. Uh... Batman, Batman fall saying. I say it all the time as well to the missus. Ah, oh, oh, it's so obvious. Why do we fall? So that we learn to pick ourselves up. So we failed today. We've fallen, but we're going to learn to pick ourselves back up and go again. I can't believe I've had to Google that. That's embarrassing. Uh, but that being said, guys, stay safe. Take care. Till next time. Goodbye.